My name is Gavin Evans and this is my review of Missing and if you watched my review of Sochin from last weekend you'd know that I really like that movie. So because this movie is the sequel even though it's not really I was looking forward to it and after watching it it's unfortunately a big step down. Let's begin with the cast, first with Storm Reed, and she's really impressed me as an actress on Euphoria. She's great there. I'm very curious to see how she's going to do as Wiley in a few weeks on The Last of Us, but she carries this movie incredibly well. She brings the emotion when she needed to, and I was left quite impressed. You've also got Ken Leong. Miles from Lost is in this movie, and... He's not in it a bunch, but he's not very good, and Naizo is Nia Long. You've also got Jacon de Amida, who I do really like, but I feel like he overstayed his welcome. In the second half, I'm like, I feel like you don't need to be in this movie anymore. But the reason why you go see this movie is because of the unique format of how this story is getting told on cell phone screens and computer screens and this movie does a great job with that for the most part. The fact that you're able to tell a story this way, it can't be easy and they pulled it off. Like for a good chunk of this movie I was engaged with everything going on and I was also impressed by some of the filmmaking. There were some crazy transitions that I really enjoyed. But I do have to bring up the fact that there is a lot of suspension of disbelief required to watch this movie. There was one scene early on where she calls this hotel in a different country. And as she's speaking to the guy, she's typing everything he's saying into Google Translate. And then typing what she wants to say into Google Translate. And saying that Spanish out loud. It, that's a bit too far-fetched for me. Also, the amount of times the character is able to get into someone's account is a bit too far-fetched as well. And even though I like some of the twists and tones in this movie, there's a few too many where it started to feel absurd and then we get to the last act, which is just a giant nosedive in quality. The last act, the last reveal is so shockingly stupid. Like after the first 20 minutes of this movie, think of the dumbest direction it could possibly go in and that's what we got. It is such a ridiculous, nonsensical ending and I really hated it. I get the ideas it's going for, but it's not effective and it's just very weak writing. And also, the format starts to feel like a crutch then. It feels like the story evolves past the way they've been telling it. So then they have to find all these different cameras to tell the story and I just lost in interest for that last bit. But up until then, despite some of my issues and the suspension of disbelief required, I was engaged for lots of it. I was entertained. So the ending shits the bed, but not quite enough to ruin the movie for me. So I'm going to go ahead and give Missing a 5 out of 10 with a slight recommendation. Okay, missing. Did you see it? What did you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for some more videos soon. And Gavin, out.